Hey, you orange one here. Uh, so this game is Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. I'm actually doing this intro after the fact. This game has some pretty loud audio at points, though uh, I had to turn it way down <laughs> to get this just right. I fixed the audio later in the episode, but the intro, it's, it's pretty loud, and then I kind of get sorted out. So yeah, enjoy. And you get, like, skills, and it's kind of weird where it's like, Okay, as a biologist, I have an issue with the experience-based depiction of evolution that you see in a lot of games like this, but at the same time, this one is pretty cool because it is... They've tried very hard to make it depict early life for these um, hominids pretty well. But you know what I mean. Like, doesn't that ever bother you? I'm gonna go quiet for the intro. Very intense. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to turn down the volume either. <laughs> but the game, I have to look at it. Pretty hardcore. So yeah, now we're this little baby uh, chip we got. We're all scared. We can use Y to look for a hiding spot. I think that, that might be a hiding spot there. So if I look there, I think that might be. Yeah, that should work. So, I held down Y, I looked at it, and I told you a little bit about what it is. Um, 
this might be bad move. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. What is it? It's somewhere up here, right? Yeah. Okay. So I can also do like different senses. There's like intelligence, I think. There's hearing and then smell as well. So you got like your different senses, which is like X, Y, and Z. Or X, Y, and Z. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so is this the hiding isn't this the hiding spot? Yep, there we go. So I, I played this game a little bit. I think I maybe need to turn down the game volume or just a, a tab. Hold on, just give me a second. Let's have a look, see at this. Okay, that's that's a lot lower with the volume. Okay, so this is the, the basic game uh, tutorial right now. I've got to like try and find my little friend, my little monkey friend, my little baby. So if I hold down A, I can run a little bit faster, and then I can jump, and then you can like grab onto things like this. So yeah, that's and then you can hold down A and jump off of these. It's pretty cool. It's it's pretty cool mechanic, and it works pretty well. So I can hold down X, use my senses. I was very confused the first time I tried to play this game though, because you can't really see them. You can kind of hear a little bit of stuff going on there. I think that's... Is that the hidey hole right there? I think that's it. Yeah, actually right there. So I, if I give this a running jump, I can get on this. And then I can just like climb on down here. But yeah, I can also do this if I hold down A. And I think I have to be like going up or down. But it lets you kind of do it. It's kind of, it takes a while to get used to the, the climbing mechanic in the game, but it's not actually that bad. I think that I can hear him. He's like right here. Chump, and then hold A to grab onto foliage or creepers when passing through it. So can I do that there? Do that stuff right there? Is that what it's saying? That foliage. I get nervous with this. Honestly, that we're pretty low. So I'm gonna jump. Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay. So hold A to prime a jump. Um, I'm holding A to just kind of like hold on this right now. I think right now I can. Yep. There we go. That's pretty sweet. Okay. I'm down. Alright, I think I got the basics. So, this is how the game basically works. Is there's like... There's like this call and response kind of element to the game. So I, I, you have to wait for the call and then call, press the button at the right time. It's like how all the crafting works. It's pretty cool. And they introduce it in a kind of a semi-organic way, but they don't explain a lot. It's kind of a little tricky. So we gotta get back up to our settlement. So let's see, I think... Let's just climb up on this. And I'm gonna climb up this way. And then just kind of... Try and go down here, and then you can kind of climb on this like that, right? And... I think we're pretty close to home, actually. Yeah, we just need to like go up here, I think. That's where we were. I'm just gonna go on top of that. And I think we just need to go here, right? Isn't that where we, we came from? Yeah, this is it. This is home. You see, it's pretty cool. It's got some pretty cool mechanics and exploration. It took me a while to figure out how a lot of the stuff works, so I'm not gonna lie. It took me a couple hours, like maybe an hour or so, of just kind of playing around with it, and I, well, I watched a little bit of stuff. 
on mine just to see a little bit of like some of the crafting because I just was like, why is everything breaking? <laughs> You'll see what I mean. So I think that this is an elder or something. The gray one. Possibly the widow, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what's going on, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, let's see, there's like these stones here. So you can do all kinds of interesting things with them. Life expectancy. Yeah, so we gotta, gotta keep an eye on stuff. Don't wanna. get hurt, you know. And stand him in energy. So energy is like your short-term stamina is kind of more long-term, I think. So I can, uh, can look at all kinds of contextual menus and like look at things. I'm trying to identify things and I think even clan members. Yeah. Yeah, I can, by pressing B and looking at them, I can kind of like figure out who these guys are. So I can like look at him and then or them. I don't know. To be honest. Oh look there's a little one in there. Yep. I can like identify them basically and know who they are. I think also hold on, I think I need a if you, I hold down the down button, I get a little bit more menu context to tell me a little bit more about stuff, about my options, so I can like look at things and, and kind of check them out like that. I got a little graphite, that's good. Graphite's pretty good, actually. I'm just gonna leave that here for now. I think it, it wanted me to sleep. Um, but we can do some crafting and whatnot. But I think that we want to... Um... Oh, actually I got something in my hand there. I don't need to remember picking that up. Okay, whatever. Cool. I'm going to try... Um... Crafting with that once I can. I think I should be able to... So actually, I kind of want to look at our evolution. What can I... What can I get right now? Anything? Oh, yeah. So this is like, you know, your typical experience point system. This is what I am like, okay, evolution, really? Okay, cool. But I need more training with these things. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, I think we're just gonna try and take a little nap because the game was prompting me to, I think. And then I can kind of see if I'm hungry or thirsty or anything. Can I just inspect this? I think I need to like learn, learn by doing kind of thing. We'll do more exploration, but I think we need to just like kind of learn a little bit, and then maybe eat a little bit. They're all gonna eat some of it now. <laughs> it's super cool. They see what you're doing. Monkey see, monkey do, right? <laughs> I think I can also, by pressing A, get a little bit of water in my hands. Yep, I'm gonna inspect the water first. Is this drinkable? Yep, it's drinkable. Fresh water source. I'm just gonna drink a little bit. Yeah, it's a pretty good tutorial. We've got matured neuron. I think that that means that I can level it up. I'm not sure. But I think... I want to be able to, like, craft with things. I need to, like, maybe learn more about things before I do that. These are beds, though. So, I, are the ingredients for making beds. So, I think that we want to stockpile some of those from what I've seen. Actually, haven't really done much of this. Yeah. Okay. I've seen people doing stuff like that. Grabbing. Yeah. Cool. Okay, that actually is working pretty well. 
Um, I think I need a little bit more though. And then you can run up to things, and if you hold down A, your character actually just automatically grabs it. It's kind of cool. Um, I can actually construct right now? Cool. That's crazy, I didn't realize that you can just do that. Um, can I look at my evolution? I think that it said that I had access to it. Yeah, cool. So I can mature this. Press A. Yeah. Now I can do a little bit of stuff with my off hand, my left hand. The devil's hand. <laughs> okay, so I think we want to do a little bit of crafting with this. Because you don't want to go out into the wild without any any crafting done. Trust me. It's a primate. There's, as, as the intro showed us, there's plenty of mean things out there that want to mess us up. Okay, so I think I can... Hold on, let's just first inspect it. Let's learn about it. Get that XP. And the thing about the, having the low on your, on your back is that this gives you that experience. But it doesn't really happen um, otherwise. So I can put this in my offhand. And then I can alter it if I press left button, okay, and then right button, you have to hold it down and then release it to use the right strength, so it's basically a timing thing like what I was saying earlier. So like that. I got that at the right time. So I've got a little sharpened stick now, right? Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep that maybe by the beds. I gotta switch hands to drop it. So you basically have like two inventory slots, your two hands. So yeah, um, I think there's also there's some other like basic things that you can craft with like this. I've seen. I think I need to switch hands. Let's try and alter this. Oh no, I, I totally messed it up. Yeah, this is it's the timing is. It's one of those timing things. One of those timing tasks. Matured neuron. Okay, I don't think I did it successfully, but I matured a neuron. I think we need it. It's basically prompting me to have more children. Oop, there we go. I got it. Okay, so I made, I made this stuff, and I should probably inspect it. Okay, have a look at it. I got it, I have it in my right hand to actually check it out. Yeah, it's kind of weird how the hand in this works. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I got a new tool. Cool. I'm gonna also put this over here. A by our stick. Just drop that for now. So, yeah. Lots of cool stuff, right? Um, don't know if we have... Let's look at you. You're an adult female. You're coupled with Yak. Am I Yak? I'm Yak. Oh, so you're coupled with me. Okay, cool. So this is actually... Um, you need to do grooming. But I think we're actually... I think we're already coupled, so I don't think we actually have to do the grooming. I can switch with you so I can turn into you. Right, so now I'm a female, and what I can do is be like, hey, come over here. <laughs> right? I don't think there's any timing task to this. I, don't, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just like, yep, okay, cool. Is that it? <laughs> okay, I guess. I think that's it. I don't think you have to do anything else. Okay. Um, can we look at the neurons though, maybe? Let's see. What's this? Yeah, I kind of want to be able to do that. That seems like a useful thing. Cool, okay, so I learned that new ability. I heard something about, like, locking in abilities. Okay, so number of kids determine reinforcements, so what can I reinforce? I want to reinforce that.
and let's see if I oh I need to unlock other things before I can reinforce it I see okay cool Okay, so I think that we can also switch to other characters, and I think what we should probably do is pair, find other pairs and see if they have, uh, like, families. You're an adult male. Adult female. You're single. I'm gonna switch to you. Okay. There's, uh, I think there was this... So if I look at you now, do I get information on you or anything? No. I'm, I'm confused. I'm not getting any prompts for them. Yep, here we go. Oh, I, oh, I gotta hold it down, I see. Okay. Oh, I, I did the wrong thing. There we go. So it's all about the timing game, basically. And the controller even vibrates. So it gives you, like, a little, basically, little game. Oh, it's given me some sort of objective. Yeah, we'll do that in a little bit. Hold on. We're trying to get more experience, basically, right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's try and guarantee us more experience points, <laughs> essentially. There's a pregnancy there. Oh, great. Okay. Try and give birth. I haven't seen this actually in game, so. Yeah. I wonder if this will unlock more experience for us, potentially. This is totally new for me. I haven't seen this part of the game. <laughs> cool game, you know. It's like a uh, pretty interesting feel to it. Okay, we gotta get some tools going for these little guys, right? <laughs> I don't think they've ate meat yet. I don't think they're omnivores just quite yet. I gotta say, I do like the cutscenes. They're pretty sweet. Hello, little one. Piggyback. Let's see, can I... I'm just kind of curious if I, we lay down, if we look at our evolution, I'm just curious what else we might be able to... The communication could probably go up. Also, we might be able to do a little bit more dexterity. Might be good. Let's up the communication. I haven't, I haven't really played with this. Oh, we can gather all of them. We're not gonna do that, I don't think. Just quite yet. This seems pretty cool. Definitely wanna learn that if I can. But I don't think I can. I don't think I'm saying that I can. Generational, what could I lock down? We've got a couple of reinforcements, so I think we just need to do more things, basically, and we'll get we'll get what we need. I think what we want to do is probably make more sticks for people. Maybe do a little exploration as well. We've got our sharp stick. Maybe we could do a little little more crafting. We could maybe. Uh, Uh, and find another one of those stones. There we go. What is this? Is this is this granite? I think it might be granite. There's a couple different stones in the game, and they're used for different things. 
Did I figure out what it was? Did it tell me? I think I, I already know what it is, but... IRL, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so let's grab two of these. We're gonna try and bang them together in just the right way. I haven't done this successfully yet. Honestly, not sure how this is done. There we go. What happened there? What did I just make? Uh, it's the old one, right? I think I need to uh, switch hands. No. So if I press that, then I switch and I can look at this. So what is this now? Is this the a grinder? Is that what that is? A granite grinder. Yep. So we got ourselves a little grinder. Look at that. Ain't that fancy. I'll take that over here and put that over here with other stuff. You can see the, the appeal though, right? This game's pretty sweet. Um, I think we'll get our sharpened stick. We'll maybe go for a little, little, little outside jaunt before we end the episode. There was some sort of quest or something that I had. Identify the juggles hidden oasis. So dopamine, what's dopamine? Oh, I think I've got tempers fear. So I've got high dopamine. Is that what that's saying? I think that's what it said. I need to like look for some sort of hidden feature or something. What's that? A hominid? Is there a friendly hominid down there? I hope they're friendly. Well, we're gonna go down and see. Oh, this is the tree we were on last time, right? It's like a little little highway. It's pretty cool. I like it. Is that foliage? Can I climb on that? I think I can. Oh, nope. Missed it, but I think the game's pretty forgiving, it looks like. Where was that one dude? Oh, there, there. Probably dumb to be on the floor though. There's there are predators around here. Don't wanna be just going around, I don't think. I'm gonna try Nope, that did not work. I guess you can't you can't climb on those. Where are you? There you are. There's somewhere around here. Why am I blind? Where are you? Oh, there you are. You okay? I inspect you. What do you need? Oh, I just inspected my my stick. I don't I, no, I don't need to inspect the stick. What I need to do is like meet this person's need. What do you need? I don't think that this is what you need. <laughs> they're they're like not feeling well, but I'm not sure what exactly is causing them to not feel well. But we can try and give them some herbal remedies. There are basic herbal remedies that we can try. That we have. <laughs> There's also, we can make a little bed for them. I don't think that's what they need. 
I think this, if we fix this up. Let's switch this. And try and alter it. There we go. Let's see if this, this does the trick, man. Friend. I'm gonna try and, and see if we can make this person be our friend. Here you are. Can I give this to you? That's not what you need, huh? Okay, are you hungry, maybe? I think they might be hungry. Is there any food around here? There's this. And they kind of look like they're holding their stomach. If you're hungry, there's like food right here. Yeah, that's not it. Eh? Good feeling. Can I eat the food myself then? Yes, thank you. At least I got some nutrients. I don't know what else I can try and give this dude, honestly, right now. There's a couple other things like honey and some other things that we could try and do. I think that you guys get that basic idea of the game, right? So yeah, this is Ancestors uh, Human Odysseys, I think, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> this is an orange one. I'll see you next time.